to do it. I, I have to do it. I, there's no going back. I'm doing it. Hey guys, welcome back. Before we start, I'd like to apologize in advance for the video that you're about to watch. I don't know if you guys have seen the trend going around on TikTok where girls are getting the two front strands of their hair and dyeing it with foundation and putting eyeshadow on it so that it looks like they dyed their hair. I saw a TikTok like that and immediately my brain went, what if, hear me out, you dye your entire hair with foundation? And then that was immediately followed by the thought, that sounds like a great idea. So here I am. I've actually never done anything to my hair. I've never bleached it or colored it at all. You're looking at virgin hair right here. Before this whole quarantine started, I actually wanted to go to a stylist and do my hair. I kind of wanted to do like a little balayage moment. Um, then quarantine happened and I never got around to it. So I didn't want to come out of quarantine with some crazy damaged box dyed hair. <laughs> so. I feel like this is a pretty safe alternative, although it's gonna be so hard to take out. Yeah. I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, it's okay, don't do it. You can stop recording right now and walk away. And to that I would say, you don't know me at all. Because once I get the idea in my head, I have to execute it. I don't always have to execute it perfectly, but I at least have to know that I tried. So I'm gonna be using this foundation that I literally just picked up at CVS because I didn't wanna use my nice foundation for this. <sighs> Why do I do the things that I do? Why do I do it? I don't know. The world may never know. Let's just say that we're doing this for science. I mean, what else am I gonna do in quarantine, you know? There's no going back now. <laughs> at least it smells good. It also sucks that I have a lot of hair. Some of you might come across this video and think, that's self-destructive behavior. But I, on the other hand, think that it's constructive behavior because I'm not doing harm to anybody and I can rinse this out in the shower. It kind of looks like I got highlights, but like gray highlights. Hmm, kind of cool. Yep. Is there something wrong with me for thinking that this looks cool? <laughs> wow, I look blonde right here. But should I dye half of my hair blonde and leave half of it black? Because <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And it doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. I kind of just feel like I'm like putting on a freaking hair mask. Just to be safe and know that what we're doing is actually working, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe palette and put some color in my hair to see if what we're doing is working. I've always wanted pink hair growing up, so I think that this is the time to live that fantasy. Let's see if this even works. It does. I'm getting some color on there. My goal with this is to actually make it kind of look good. I know right off the bat that it's not gonna look amazing and like I actually dyed it, like I'm not delusional, but um, I wanna try my best to make it look like I did. It looks more purple than pink, but you know what? At least color is showing up. Let me see if I can try to make this have a little bit more color. I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> so I took my time and I really went in. Some hair got more dyed than other strands of hair, but I mean, there's color on there. It's kind of cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side and finish what we started. Okay. I think that's gonna stick a lot better than the first time. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing fantastic, as you can tell. Just really living it up here in quarantine. I think that's what this time is all about. Do things that you wouldn't normally do. Do things that are out of your comfort zone. Do things that are so crazy, people will think that you're having a midlife crisis in your 20s. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool seeing my hair a different color. Although I would much rather not be putting foundation in my hair, honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like really grossed out and feeling like I made a big mistake the entire time, 
which surprisingly I don't. Like you would think that I'd be here like, oh my God, what did I do? I can't go back, I ruined my hair. But like, I'm kind of thriving sis. My hair would look so cute with highlights. Oh my God, me when I'm an old lady, all old and gray. <laughs> I think I put enough foundation in my hair, so I think it's time to put some color. What I like to see. Oh man. How did that happen? I saw that I got like a little bit of pink right here on my cheeks, which is actually perfect. So it can like match. Gotta get that brush in there again. Just hide my roots. <laughs> this is some like serious crackhead energy. <laughs> What the f*** am I doing? I've been going at this for quite some time trying to deposit color into my hair and I think that this is the best that I'm going to get. So I'm going to try to style it the best that I can and I'll come back to show you the final reveal. Despite it looking so patchy and just black in some places and pink in some places and purple in other places, I think it looks pretty cute. I like her. She's cute. It's not perfect, but I think it's cute. What do we think about this hair? Should I dye my hair? Should I do a fun color? Am I crazy for thinking that this looks kind of cute? Let me know your thoughts down below. Well guys, that's the end of this video. I don't know what this was or why I felt the need to do this, but I'm leaving here today feeling like I made a beautiful, very temporary masterpiece. So with that being said, I'm going to hop in the shower and rinse this off. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Perfect.